Uh, Aquarius. And the last sign after that will be Taurus is her last. Move. Taurus, that's not a good sign. That's been a thing that's the most reoccurring sign that always goes last over all the years I've done Deep Love Tarot is Taurus. That means that you guys are fucking in the last, in the pack, in the back, wasting your time. So typical, we're typical Taurus moving slow. Yeah, I know. I just, you know, it's sad though. It, it becomes a reoccurring theme. I could, you know, I've been doing the show fucking for three years. So I'm like, uh, you know. I'm going to use for Aquarians a different, unique deck. Hmm. Uh, Aqua. Aqua. I guess we'll use this. Uh, I don't really like that deck. You know what? We'll use this deck. I forgot the name of this deck. Oh, the Occult Tarot. Mm -hmm. You're going to use the Occult. I like the red on the sides and the black. I like the way these shuffle, like... Although they're not the most, like, magnificent looking cards. They do have different... Should I say... Gods and entities on them? Use the Occult Tarot. I know it could look a little dark. But... There is great shuffling that happens with this deck. For me, it's like all about that cardstock. Like these just flow. These like just. Uh. I wish all all tarot cards were made with this cardstock. If all tarot cards were made with this cardstock, it would just be a whole new world. Mmm. Yeah, these feel good. All right, let's see what's going on, Aquarians. You guys. Full moon in your eighth. Definitely ready for the panty dropper time. Also, the deeper commitments and getting what you really want. All right. You did pull as your first card here. You did pull the Ace of Swords in reverse here. You did pull as your challenge the star card upright. You did pull the lovers as your overall. Oh, that's nice here. And you did pull the king of pentacles as your way through this, this rebirth here. But you know, I think that this is definitely this knowing that you have everything that you could possibly want within yourself to move and have what you want. This ace of swords here though is, you, you know, you're stuck in your head and not seeing the options of moving forward into things. Your challenge is the star starting this whole new cycle and this new beautiful cycle. You know, it's kind of interesting looking at this card too. That's why I kind of like this occult tarot. It's like, can cause love or hate, can make one ignorant without sense, delivers familiars from other magicians, can move one from one place to from place to place. I think that this is you constantly trying to move and you need to start from this place and stay in a place. I feel like this Ace of Swords needs to pick its line instead of getting lost in the head. You did pull the lover's card here, which has is a power here, which is causes women to love men and brings them together in love, can make women barren. Hmm. Kind of interesting. I don't, that's why I don't go buy off that stuff, but I definitely feel like, you know, this is definitely an amazing moment here for you of like having the ability to have the greatest love. But I think that there's a lot of your stuff in your head and a lot of things about the fear of starting this fresh new place of love. What's going on with that head stuff here? Eight of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like, you know, that could be definitely work stuff or feeling like Queen of Swords. You know, I feel like this is where you just have to become much more clear on what you want and stay with that instead of changing your mind or not seeing a hole that could open up or feeling like, I'm mean, going to be honest, hey, the Pentacles could feel like in reverse, like, well, something won't be able to be made or created. But we're seeing a King of Pentacles here that anything can be created. What's going on with this lover card? The full reverse. Are you just being so dumb that you're going to fuck up a love situation here? Seven of cups reversed. You know what you really want. You know your prize, so you'd be stupid not to go for it. But you kind of have to go for it here. 
Yep, Knight of Swords in reversed. You're not taking quick enough action. Ace of Wands. Man, it's like you know what you really want here, but it's like you're being held back from it. Why are you being so... Why, what's up with that full reversed? Six of Pentacles reversed. It could feel like... You know, that's a card of exchange. It's a card of also, you know, feeling like... Again, there's money popping up here. It's like maybe you feel like, well, I got to get until I get enough money or enough work or... I don't know. We're gonna get. We're gonna need some help here because I feel like this is some great situation here that's just t completely not coming together. But a lot of it is in your head, and a lot of it is in some weird ways. You did get uh, Caredwin here, Caredwin, which is transformation. It's the twenty nine card. It's definitely, you know, an eleven card inspiration. But here it is. She's cooking up what she really wants. I feel like, you know, this creativity, this rebirthing energy, this transformation, you're cooking up what you want. But you got to do something with it. I feel like you just can't keep cooking it up. You got to serve it. That's what I'm feeling. That like You got to serve things. It's an 11 card, too. 29 equals fucking 2 plus 9 is 11. But it equals 2. So it means that you're also stuck in your emotional place. This feels like such an Aquarius reading. So Aquarian. Water element. Oh, you need to bring the motion in. That's what it is. Of course, that also is your psychic and your intuition and your sensing. But what's going on with that? The magic card. You're sensing magic's there. Feels like home. Really have no excuses at this point. This is on you. What's going on with this lover's card over here? What's the shadow to this whole love, beautiful situation going on? What can't we see here? Ah, oh, primal, connecting deep within, sacred dance instinct. It's like, you know, you're holding back from this primal instinct and showing... Primal is like, ah, oh, you know, showing up in a big way and seduction and, you know, going deep. You know, it is the instincts again. There's a lot of instincts that you know, but it's like you're holding back. It's like you're kind of holding yourself back from, you know, attracting what you really want, going for what you really want here. Like fully, you know, like being primal. Like, I fucking want you, motherfucker. Brian the cage, yep, you're holding yourself back from your primal desires. Wah, wah, wah. I'll clarify that. Where did I put those fucking cards? What is the clarifying to this? Ooh, two of pentacles reversed. Yeah, you're being sloppy, like wish-washy. I don't know. Should I do this? What? The, why are you being so wish-washy? The sun card reversed? You don't feel like you're in your full self. You want to express yourself and you're not really expressing yourself fully. You're waiting for somebody else to express yourself and you feel like they're not expressing themselves, but it's really, you're the one sitting around waiting to cook things up. What's getting that you got to say here? You did get the divine support. So many good aspects. What's clarifying on that? Oh, king of swords. Yeah, your head is not going to figure this out. <laughs> Everything keeps showing me that you're in your head, that you keep analyzing too much. Instead of letting the divine support happen and letting the shit happen and showing up with the emotions and the primal energy and the sensing and what feels like home and going for it. Ah, going for it. I feel like you're just kind of floundering here. Singles, you got the... Hangman reverse. There's nothing holding you back. Nothing. You think you, you, know, you got the death card reversed. You're afraid of change. And you got the wheel of fortune reversed. You're trying to control the relationship dynamics too much. You're trying to feel like, I hate to say it, the wheel of fortune reverse is trying to have control in the levers of reality. It's like, instead of just going with the flow of where the good luck is going to happen, however it's going to look. And you need to get a ten of swords there. Yeah, so it's like you're done with this cycle of trying to control the situation, not letting fortune happen, too afraid of transformation and death, and, and especially 
you know, because that death card did come. But I, I feel that this hangman reverse is feeling like that always you're going to be stuck or always that you're going to be in limbo or something. If you're in a relationship, you got a king of cups here. You got that with the six of wands. There's definitely, you know, feeling like you can definitely right now in your relationship, if you're in one, definitely get to a much better place of victory. Feeling like, you know, finally this place is reaching some emotional place that you've wanted it to reach. Maybe it's felt like, yeah, four of pentacles. You had to get rid of or some or your partner, but I think both of you had to get rid of some kind of things that were kind of holding you guys both back, especially in your own stubborn ways. Yeah, King of Wands. There's a lot going good for people that are Aquarians in relationships. Finally kind of having like a, a better place to be and a, and a restart in many ways. If you are, or sex for all of them, is Ten of Cups reversed. Oh, man, you're too afraid that the sex is going to bring you the greatest life ever. <laughs> How weird is that? Hate to hear it. Or you're afraid of having babies or a family, you know? Mm. Um... What's going on with the oracle in here? What's going on with the oracle? The oracle for Aquarians. The aliens of the zodiac. The weirdos they are. Listen to your intuition, inner healing. Self-love, self-sabotage, <laughs> oh boy. Well, I think that you're listening to your intuition. I think it actually goes in this order here. Self-love has been found to even listen to your intuition. You've done your inner healing and then you're self-sabotaging. <laughs> and I think that's the end of the cycle that you're doing is the end of your self-sabotaging because it's gonna take some important conversations I think that you have with yourself and the self-love that you have on both sides here, so you don't self-sabotage things here. All right, what's going on? Aqua, Aquarius rising. You did get Mars, you got, that's ninth house, and you got Sag. So this is definitely a whole new adventure of redefining your whole life, but it's gonna be redefining your whole life, like redefining the whole adventure, the whole way that the story is. It's like a whole new story. And I feel like you're afraid of entering into a completely new story and what that looks like, but that's the excitement of where you're going. So what villain are you being to yourself and to others? And that's causing the self-sabotage in your relationships and even for your own happiness in your love story. We're gonna find that out right now. Let's see, we're filling from the villain deck from Disney Villains. What do we got here for you today? Yep, you got Ursula in reverse. Queen of Cups reverse. No, you know, like I want to, you know, I'm supportive and you're really not being supportive emotionally. And you also could be, Queen of Cups can kind of be, I'm expecting you to support me more. It's like, oh, uh, you know, no, no Queen of Cups is demanding. I think that you, if you're being too demanding emotionally, you're going to push a lot of people away. Back to you, Brian. Aqua, yeah, full moon in the eighth, definitely big for like passionate energy, sexy time energy, but there are walls that can show up in the eighth house too. So I think you have to get to the bottom of what that is. You do have the Pisces energy in your second house with Jupiter, Neptune. You have to know your worth, I think, and let people in and like take walls down where the walls don't need to be. So this could be a release of a lot of stuck energy or stagnant when it comes to passion so that you can kind of break those down. I think also with Venus in your first house and Mars, there's a lot of identification. There's a lot of even maybe some courage and strength to move forward right now, but it's squaring Uranus in your fourth and North nodes in your fourth and Taurus. And you're, you are in kind of a strange emotional place, but it is the Blake, it is breaking through the walls and actually expressing your crazy radical emotions that are going to help with any kind of blocks so that you could actually get what you really want. Like I feel like Aquariuses are so close to getting something that they want. And this is maybe that full moon where you realize that you're worth the things you want, that you can get it and you can let that passion and let that emotion out. And I think you do have to get out of your head to get to this place, especially as we're coming up on Aries season and you're going to start getting some third house transits. Like get out of your head now. So you're not too in your head later and you miss some like really good chance here. Some like really good, I don't know, connective force that you can have. So I think you can break a lot of 
a lot of walls down that don't need to be there so that you can have the right walls in place with the right people moving forward. Yeah, and I think, you know, 8th House is remembering how to attract what you want in, right? So it's about knowing how to bring in what you want, you know? It's like instead of like kind of, you know, hey, this is what I need, it's more about how do you seduce? The 8th House is how you seduce, you know? It's like the rose seduces fucking the bees that make the honey. Like, you know, you have to know how to be that rose right now. Rose seduced Jack and then dropped him. Last one. She must have been in Aquarius in that movie, you know what I mean? Oh my God, so great. And then like steaming up the old Model T and all that. And then when it got too cold, she's like, I'm taking this shit for myself. Like, oh, I'll never let go. I'm an Aquarius. Jack was probably a Leo. I was oh. thinking the same thing. Right? 